What's up? What's up? What's up? So this is a uh, double fold <laughs> message, I guess, right? Um, I just got the second part. Well, I don't want to say second part, but <sighs> just another reference to what they show. Uh, remember when I say the truth is stranger than fiction, right? Or that is the saying, because it's true, right? Um, just another, just proof, you know, that they put everything right in front of us, right? Um, but on another note, let me holla at somebody right quick. Whoever you are, okay? You're feeling bad, right? Or you're you're feeling you're kind of being down on yourself a little bit, right? And I'm gonna tell you right now, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Right? We're all human. Okay, we all make mistakes, right? Um you know, even people that are on the other side of the tracks, right? It's all a learning experience, 111 on time, right? That we've all had to go through and grow through, okay? So don't be so hard on yourself, right? One, two, three, on a timer, right? So you're feeling like, um, I'd like to be totally honest with you, you were kind of calling yourself dumb or stupid right and you're none none of those okay 144 on the time you're none of those all right so get that out of your your mind okay and the reason being that you are feeling that way is because people around you were manipulating you right um to serve an agenda Okay, that they had against you, right? Um, then it's just the selfishness of people, right? And of course, wounds, right? And a whole bunch of things to tie in, right? But I felt the same way for a little bit, two, three, four on the timer, right? But the Holy Spirit had to let me know really why um for one reason or another i saw red flags and i did not want to necessarily believe them right uh it's because i loved these people right and when you love the you know when you love people you you don't it doesn't enter enter your mind that people can be, especially people that you love, right, close to you, that can be so callous and calculating and just cutthroat to you, right? So really, it's just the fact that you love them, right? And you never would have placed your mind to think through the a timer that they would ever do anything like that towards you, right? Um, and the lesson is, right, don't ignore, no matter who it is, don't ignore the red flags, okay? Uh, you're not dumb, you're not stupid, right? It's just a love that you have for people, right? You don't, you don't, you see the best in people, right? And you do you just don't think or it doesn't cross your mind that people would even just think like that to do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't cross your mind to you get what I'm saying, right? And uh it's just a learning experience, beloved. Right? It's just a learning experience. Okay. Remember we're in this school called life, okay? And Everything's a teaching moment, teaching experience, right? That we must learn from, okay? And that's just it, you know? So don't be down on yourself, all right? 
uh, don't condemn yourself, four, five, six on the timer, right? There are no, there's no condemnation to those who are in, in God, right? None. So don't condemn yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? These things were supposed to happen the way that they happened, right? Um, and the main reason being, besides the lesson that you need to learn, right? The main reason being uh, is because God wanted you, God wanted to reveal the people who were not really for you that were around you, right? So that you would cut them off, right? Um, and not take them with you. Otherwise, they would have used you and did all type of things, right? <clears throat> so don't be so hard on yourself, all right? Um, so the second part, right? So I'm watching it. Y'all know I love, I love these shows, right? Um, especially all Western shows, right? So I'm watching this show called Lawmen, right? Bass Reeves. Okay. And listen to this part, right? Listen to this part that this man is about to speak of about his uh his 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 land. Okay, check it out right quick. Just check it out. I'm let you have my word. Bass, where I built my ranch, the land is littered with ancient bones of giants. Monsters. Thigh bones as big as a man. Locals call them huesos de angeles. Angel bones. But I know a monster when I see one, Bass Reeves. Move it out! <laughs> he said angel bones. Really? The children, the offspring of the angel, fallen angel bones, right? So the Nephilim, right? But that was just a, another example and depiction of things being right in front of our face, right? Things the average person wouldn't necessarily wouldn't pay attention to, you know, but it's there, right? He's talking about um, those mounds. There's mounds all over the globe, right? Those are burial mounds for giants, right? I just thought that was that was another interesting interesting fact to uh, show you guys. Okay, so. Y'all know when I find them, I, when I see them, I I, <laughs> I bring them. <laughs> all right, so uh, don't be so hard on yourself. All right, just realize that um, it's got to be a lot more careful, right? And now that you've learned these things, uh, things in the future won't be so surprising to you. You know what I'm saying? You you you've been through it with the ones closest to you, so you know better in a much greater sense now, okay? All right, I love you, beloved. You all right, you got, you got this, you got it. All right, all right, later, peace.